the biomarkers that exist for non-small cell lung cancer, um, there are a list, and I mean a, a substantial list of them. However, in general, you really have to be aware of a handful, and I'll list those out for you. The most common one is EGFR, and I'll come back to that. That's called epithelial growth factor receptor. We'll talk about that for a second. The other is called RAS, KRAS specifically. The third is called ALK, A-L-K. Now, any doctor or any health system worth, it, worth its weight in now doing lung cancer should probably almost automatically do your EGFR, your ALK receptors, uh, your KRAS receptors. Um, now, it's true that in precision medicine, you could have a thousand of them. But in general, these are the ones that we know are actually the major culprits behind most lung cancer. So, EGFR, epithelial growth factor. Again, meaning that we discovered that in a subpopulation of people who have an EGFR, if it's a specific type of mutation, it can be targeted with drugs. KRAS. We now know that the activating mutations of KRAS, which have been difficult to treat, we've been uh, the, we've been chasing the holy grail of you know, getting a handle on KRAS for a very long time. We've finally been able to sort of pull that off, and I think that there's some hope. NALK. These are common markers that you should absolutely ask your doctor before they take the tissue samples. And again, I think most patients think that, well, I'm going to the doctor, they're going to tell me what goes on. No, the doctor will inform you and you can actually help the doctor be better informed by making certain that in that discussion, you're saying, when you draw the panel, will I have the EGFR, the ALK and the KRAS? And oh, by the way, will you be adding other markers to that? That's the discussion that I really think is critical uh, when patients uh, are actually meeting their doctor for the first time. 